what's going man what's up and welcome back to another video today we got another reaction video coming in for y'all and this one is gorilla vs grizzly bear who would actually win in a fight saw this video when i was scrolling down on youtube and whatnot and whatnot and i'm actually pretty curious of who would win and i i i think probably a gorilla will win but who do y'all think will win let me know in the comments below but the link to this video the the link to the original video is going to be in the description so make sure you check that out if you want to watch the original video and let's go ahead and get into this one Hello everyone, it's your host, Seth Morgan. Like Today we're going to be going over something I've been hearing for years now. Who would win in a fight between a gorilla and a grizzly bear? This type of debate is almost on par with my dad would beat up your dad level arguments, but it reaches a more deeply ingrained primal level in all of us. Two massive creatures that are way stronger than even the most powerful and skilled humans on the planet with almost all right, no now, effort let's relax. at all, even in their lower tiers, duking it out in a fight we can only sit in awe and watch. Now. The thing you have to consider with animal fights is that it's not as cut and dry as, say, determining who would win in an anime battle. In an anime or cartoon manga fight, you'd say, oh yeah, Goku could fight a guy who could destroy a planet earlier in the series. And this 10-year-old kid's pet rat could zap the god of the universe. Bruh! Nah, but in all seriousness, animal fighting really is more in that fight science -y territory, similar to MMA discussions. None of it can really be as objective or as clear as we could hope, and animals aren't very consistent a lot of the time even then i mean imagine what the scrubbiest of actual people can do compared to the strongest of people and it's sort of similar with animals which is why there can be a range of feats that can sometimes not really make sense for this video though we're going to be doing a pretty general who would win more than likely kind of question rather than this one would objectively stomp every time to Sorry. make the fight a bit more consistent as well, both the gorilla and the grizzly bear will be bloodlusted and in absolute fight mode. So no arguments bear. about, well, the bear can run off sometimes if you tell it to go. So before he even gets to this, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Who would actually win in a fight? A bloodlusted grizzly bear or a bloodlusted gorilla? fully grown male gorilla who would who would win in a fight me personally i think like off fighting i think the gorilla will win but i think off straight like just ferociousness and all that stuff the bear would probably win so it, it all just depends on the day and who's feeling more like a real nigga i guess Go away, or gorillas wouldn't even try to fight the bear, etc. None of that. They are fighting. The gorilla will also be a silverback, not just a standard gorilla. With that out mm. of the way, let's go over some of the stats yeah, and feats. The gorilla, a massive anthropoid that many consider to be humanity in its more raw, physical, and combative state, is certainly no joke. This distant relative of humanity is often considered one of the most pound-for-pound, -pound physically strongest animals on Earth, only being rivaled or really outdone by insects, which tend to be relatively absurd, such as if they were pound-for-pound -pound with a human, they'd be able to hurl cars and houses, etc. Gorillas are usually considered Damn. 4 through 20 times stronger than humans, depending on Damn. who you ask, and trust me, with animal feats and science, it really depends on who you ask. The Nyungwe Forest National Park website places their lifting strength in the 1800 pound range, with the most famous of strength sources for the gorilla, the 1988 Guinness World Record stating that a gorilla based off of feats with chimpanzees lifting could lift around 2,000 pounds with training. Some people will even say a gorilla can lift up to 4,000 pounds. However, I wasn't able to find sources for this, and most strength gauges for gorillas tend to be more so in the realm of theory than actual tests. In the Guinness Book of Animal Facts and Feats on page 44, it is described that with a male gorilla's massive strength and one of the only authentic killings of a gorilla on a human, at around 1910, a man in Uganda was suspended in the air with one arm and had his head torn from his body, with an arm being torn off before in a similar fashion in 1923. A feat like that doesn't even sound real and comes off more like something you'd hear about in a Resident Evil game or a movie, but that actually did happen a gorilla actually picked someone up and ripped his head from his you know i you know i know it sounds like crazy like oh he got his head ripped off but i've been um i've been seeing a lot of stuff that say like bro like we could do stuff like humans like you could easily like 
break and rip somebody's arm off if you really tried. It'd just be like our brain hold us back from the stuff because it's like we don't want to do that. Like we don't want to see that. So it's like our brain holds us back. But in all honestly, a, a bloodlusted human is dumb strong. It could, I'm not going to say it could do some, but like it almost do some shit like that. It's not that crazy. Body while holding him. The gorilla's most impressive asset, however, is not its strength, but its absolutely monstrous bite force. Clocking it at 1,300 pounds per square inch, the gorilla has a bite force over twice as strong as a lion and almost any land predator on Earth, which it uses to fend off predators and other rival gorillas with. Gorillas are also known to be quite wild when they actually engage in a fight and are even known to break glass at zoos and go on rampages that nobody can stop unless they are armed if they ever escape. Sometimes requiring police intervention even for smaller gorillas, the gorilla can also run at 25 miles per hour which is almost as fast as Usain Bolt at his absolute peak. They have weighed up to 589 pounds and have reached up to 6 feet 5 inches tall. On average not though, they're bad. more in the 300 pound range and are around 5 foot 1, which while not very yeah, that's impressive, not that bad. is pretty impressive when you consider their weight and pound for pound strength in conjunction with it. The grizzly bear, on the other hand, has been a creature terrorizing humanity for countless generations. Named the Ursus Arctos Horribilis, also known as the Horrible Bear, the grizzly bear was considered an indestructible force of nature by colonizers, trappers, and Native Americans alike. During the 1800s, Lewis and Clark, on their expedition to the Northern Passage, had heard terrible rumors of the grizzly bear and doubted them believing a good hunter and a good shot could probably handle one. However, they later learned the actual thing was worse than the rumors and you would only have seconds to defend yourself from one before instant death. In 1822, William H. Ashley and his 100 trapping men entered the mountains. Despite the stories they had heard of the grizzly, after their journey they obtained more information than any other group during the 19th century. Some of their warnings include, no fear of man, almost impossible to kill, expert swimmers, faster than our horses, cubs are ferocious, must shoot in the eye or behind ear to kill, guns only infuriate, large as an ox, if you run you're dead, one shot 30 times before killed. Trappers mm. usually in shock for one half hour after encounter with. It's no surprise that the Native Americans believed taking one down was a legendary and priceless accomplishment. These creatures were truly on a godly level back in the 19th century. The largest grizzly has grown up to 2,000 pounds. Because they never ran into somebody like me. Peaks, usually ranging around 1,500 pounds. They you know, that's, that's honestly nothing. And I could probably take out a grizzly bear by myself unarmed. Honestly, if we're going to be completely honest. And the reason that they're just giving them so much. Because a grizzly bear has never seen a nigga like me before. You only see like. Little eye. No, you know, no offense. But little eye. You know. I don't want to say no skin colors or nothing. But little people. You just see a bunch of little people. And they haven't ran into a, to a, a giant real nigga like me. You know. They can run 35 miles bear. per hour, but if you consider the stories by the 100 trappers, they might be even faster. They are usually 4 feet tall and 8 feet long, with some grizzlies like the famous Teddy who played in the movie Grizzly standing up to 10 feet tall. They ragdoll 1,500 pound mooses and have a bite force of around 1,160 to 1,250 pounds per square inch, depending on who you ask, which is around twice nine. as strong as a lion's. The Californian grizzly, usually at around 800 pounds during these events I'm about to describe, used to be put into pits against 1,100 to 2,200 pound bulls and almost always won during the 19th century. These amphitheaters would even put bears against things like panthers and so forth. In terms of strength, Montana State University once did a test of their strength for a National Geographic documentary in which it was concluded that bears could knock around a 700 pound dumpster like it was no more than a beach ball. With it being concluded, this is only while they're playing around and they could do so much more if they were ever enraged. It is no exaggeration to say that the bear is one of the top land combatants on the planet and is one of the biggest threats to even an armed human being in a fight and was considered a threat on par or even more terrifying than actual armed humans during the 19th century. With introductions out of the way, let's get down to the facts of the matter here. The gorilla's main advantage in this fight are its slightly superior bite force and its superior strength, with the grizzly's main advantages being 
almost a three to four times size difference and its massive durability advantage. Many people imagine the gorilla would simply swing at the grizzly and beat it to death. However, we know that gorillas do not actually fight this way. Gorillas more so get in close to their opponents, trying to grapple and bite them, and are often known to maul their opponents and bite them repeatedly. Even when gorillas attack actual people, this is the case as well. That's With bites being hands, a strong bro. offensive option they abuse, it's literally in their genes to bite. Why wouldn't you bite if you could bite twice as hard? as a lion. Many think the gorilla is insanely intelligent and will use human-like tactics to handle a grizzly bear. However, we know through actual observations of their fights that this is not the case, and they are quite sporadic and don't use a lot of strategy. One thing to note about gorillas is that they usually are considered more peaceful than most would believe, and they are not predators that seek fights with other animals quite often. Due to this, their ability to seek out kill points is lacking, and they have no instinct helping them to do so. They are also not remotely the same level as a human, in terms of strategy and would be considered worse than our absolute worst more All right, often. Dude, so imagine face. your dumbest friend you know tell them to make a plan on how to beat a grizzly bear in a fight and he'd come up with infinitely more things than a gorilla would gorillas also have problems grabbing things compared to humans humans have longer and more opposable thumbs which let them more accurately grab and manipulate objects and form things like fists to punch people with gorillas are more slap boxy if they ever do and are more often than not just they flail around. You have to remember, it requires a human years of training to accurately learn how to fight. We are not ingrained with using high level technique. However, bears might actually be. Bears, while not intelligent at all, have insane instincts for fighting as they are literally designed for and are known to be extremely yeah, adept predators. at wrestling they and hunt. knowing how to kill prey. Unlike the flailing gorilla, the grizzly is far more calculated and skilled despite the intelligence gap. In terms of skill, the grizzly absolutely takes it. However, the stats are still something to go over. Perhaps the strength of the grizzly is too much? Let's segue into another topic to better explain this. Neither the gorilla nor the grizzly are invincible as many would believe. Gorillas in their natural habitats are often hunted after by leopards, with a different subspecies rivaling grizzlies, the Russian brown bear, is often bested by Siberian tigers. This is quite telling of how this fight would actually go, which I'll go into more detail. The Center for Bibliographical Studies and Research once noted that the father gorilla of a family will often spend the night at the foot of the tree his family is around, while he stands on guard. In a stand-up fight, there is only one foe that he has reason to fear, and that is the leopard. Many believe the leopard only takes down the gorilla during nighttime when it has less awareness. However, we actually know that leopards have duked it out and stalemated or straight up have defeated silverback gorillas in fights, with the only account of a gorilla ever killing a leopard actually being a mutual kill between both the gorilla and the Damn. leopard where they just killed each other. Whereas other reports have shown back in October 1988 that a leopard attacked a male gorilla in broad daylight, got thrown off the gorilla, and then hunted the gorilla down for the rest of the day while the gorilla ran in fear. In other instances, Crazy. leopards have failed their initial attacks on silverbacks and have had to face them in a battle to the death, almost always winning or running away, or they mutually agree to stop fighting. But how is this? How could the much larger and stronger gorilla lose a fight to a leopard who is almost half to a quarter of its weight? Damn, the they're not fading for arsenal and the skill. Gorillas are anthropoids and herbivores. They are not designed the same way a carnivore is. Anthropoids lack a subcutaneous muscle called the paniculus carnosus, which is a sheet of muscle that attaches to skin and makes it loose and maneuverable. Animals like anthropoids, who lack this feature, have very tight-fitting skin that offers little resistance to the traction applied by clawing and therefore easily cuts open. So, basically when someone like you, me, or a gorilla gets clawed, it tears through the skin. The skin doesn't just shift around or take it as well. This is why when you watch cats or bears play fight each other, they don't just tear each other to death and can bite each other and claw each other with things that would cause us to bleed or be seriously injured by while having a smile on their face. A good example of this is the honey badger, which can take bites from lions and shrug them off by moving around in its own skin. This overall concept is what makes the gorilla fear the leopard. It simply doesn't have the right durability to face it, and its strength can only be used defensively or else it will be massacred occurred or bleed out to death. Now, this isn't to say gorillas hmm. can't fight back at all. You know, obviously, leopards have agreed to stop fighting gorillas or leave them alone, but they simply lose more times than they win and are instinctually fearful of large leopards. 
The brown bear that faces Siberian tigers is a bit more complicated, as Siberian tigers make leopards look like kittens. In a 1972 piece by... What is this? <laughs> by Hepter and Sludsky, featured in a book called Wild Cats on page 56, end quote, Tigers sometimes kill and eat leopards in their own kind, as well as other carnivores, including bears, weighing up to 170 kilograms, which they have attacked in their winter dens. End quote. Siberian tigers are then even larger than obviously most tigers like the Bengal. Leopards have also been known to kill tigers sometimes, but it's usually in a passive zoo-like setting where they're not really akin to fighting or against female tigers, with more wild and larger tigers almost always winning against the leopard. Even then, the brown bear doesn't always lose against the tiger like the gorilla does against the leopard. The record is more like 20-ish to 12-ish from what we know, with a lot of these mm. kills being more in line with the tiger tiger sneak attacking the bear as cats are usually known for, the tiger can win in a straight up fight against the bear, but so can the bear sometimes. It really just depends on the size and the setting. Some people also try to claim gorillas beat tigers in fights, which I have no idea where this rumor came from and I didn't find anything to substantiate it. They don't even live in the same area of the planet. It seems to be highly unlikely that's true considering leopards are known to smash them pretty consistently let alone a tiger. For those that don't understand what I'm getting at yet, the grizzly would basically be a much worse matchup than the leopard. At least with the leopard, you could argue they are small, not that durable, and not that strong. However, the grizzly, whose bite force is almost twice as strong as a leopard, almost five through ten times heavier, and is just as kill-hungry and skilled, the gorilla simply does not logically win on average. Sorry to say it, even the gorilla's only real attribute, the bite, is actually rival by the grizzly it's not even that big of a difference with grizzlies biting each other almost full force all the time there's also the question of if gorillas even know how to use their bites properly with some humans being mauled for 30 minutes straight by some rampaging gorillas and not even dying after being bitten numerous times let alone the invincible grizzly bear one silverback has even been defeated by a poacher with a spear before which I'd love to hear any story of a large grizzly bear being 1v1'd by anybody with a spear. I don't think there's a single person on the planet who could 1v1 a bear with a spear. It's simply... You're looking at them, and if anybody tells you otherwise, they're lying, because I can do it. It's just not happening. Even during modern times, these days, we have recordings of grizzly bears being shown tanking shotgun blasts to the face and then acting like it just stung rather than actually taking damage and then continuing to charge its target. Well, as the tra trappers once said, gun Not gonna lie, I don't know how people like, well, I mean, I could understand because, you know, some people treat dogs like kids. But honestly, if my dog was getting hunted by a bear or something, I'm just going to let it have it, honestly. And I'm just going to live to see another day and live to see another dog. Because why would you even put yourself in that situation to even get attacked by a bear? If you're my dog, you wouldn't be that dumb. So it was never meant to be my dog in the first place. On fire only makes them angry. The strength of the gorilla many bring up is also questionable and not very tested as well, and is more so in the realm of theory as I said before. As an example, there was once a question of how strong tiger style martial arts were compared to an actual tiger, in which a swipe from a playful tiger was on par with the tiger style martial artist's hardest strike, in fact the martial artist struck harder. They were unable to gauge the tiger's true strength, and the same is said for bears, in which their only gauge is them ragdolling 1,500 pound animals or a 700 pound dumpster, so we can't even say for 100% certain how the strength of a gorilla actually even compares to a serious bear, because we've never measured a serious bear before, and gorillas are more apt to throw around their strength randomly in displays. That being said, the bear more than likely blitzes the gorilla at 35 through 55 miles per hour if you take this trapper lore, wrestles the gorilla, and as they bite each other to death, the gorilla just kind of bleeds out and loses with moderate difficulty, while the bear more than likely takes minor damage. A better debate for a grizzly is more so tigers rather than gorillas, but respect to gorillas, that feat of one kind of just picking a guy up and then ripping his head off with one hand, it really caught me. All right, well, this seems about the end of the video, and he more or less answered the question, and the bear would win. I I was kind of right, kind of wrong. I guess the bear would win damn near every time. But 
If you enjoyed this one, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn the post notification bells on so you can see when I post and peace, love, and positivity, and I will see y'all in the next one. It's two options in this world. Is you gonna win or lose? Is you gonna take the risk or not? You know you gotta choose. Yeah, I can't keep one, so all my bitches come in twos.